what's up y'all welcome back to the vanity spells channel i'm about to give y'all a story time when i was stranded for like five hours let me tell y'all something i am wearing this lip gloss from the hair store y'all and it's called salted caramel and it literally tastes okay i ain't gonna say taste but it smells just like a frappe it should be called coffee frappe coffee something because it literally smells like a caramel frappe a caramel coffee something y'all i be wanting to just drank all the caramel coffees like it's real it's real tea it's real all that but y'all let's get into the story time so um i had just got done doing lashes in a different area than where i be at i was being grown because i'm like okay i know this area i'm finna just get back to where i'm at real quick or whatever y'all so i get on the interstate and i am jamming to my music music blasting or whatever so i hear doom 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 so i'm like that must be the beat like doom 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 or whatever but then i'm like okay girl stop being delusional and pull over so i pulled over y'all and i look at my tires and my back left tire is like threaded y'all and i am a little embarrassed because literally earlier in the week my boyfriend had told me to get that tire change because i had got a new tire for i think my front left whatever i don't know one of the tires in the front had got changed and i had got an alignment but the people at the tire shop they was like you can really wait like you don't really need it right now so i'm like okay i ain't gonna get it right now but yeah back tire was threaded and i was so embarrassed so i'm like okay i'm gonna call triple a so i called triple a y'all and i'm giving them all my information and they like where you at i'm literally in the middle of nowhere like i don't know where i'm at y'all usually whenever i travel i look at all the exits i'm passing so i can know where i'm at like but i didn't expect anything to happen because i'm literally like around the corner from where i be at like it's literally like a little skip and hop it's literally right there so i'm like i'm feeling grown i'm feeling like i'm that girl like, i'm gonna make it or whatever so i'm like um i don't know so at this point i'm like I'm going to just send my location to my boyfriend. And then he can tell me where I'm at. So I'm like, do you know where I'm at? Like, you in between exit. I'm going to just say seven and nine. But he really wasn't sure because, y'all, it was literally like you couldn't really read it for real on a map. But he's good at stuff like that or whatever. So um, he was like, you in between exit seven and nine. But we didn't really know. So I told the lady or whatever. And at this point, I'm stressed out. I have them on three-way. My boyfriend and the lady from AAA or whatever. So she getting information now. She's like, okay, they're going to come in like an hour or whatever. So the towing and tire company called me. They like, um asking me pretty much the same questions that triple a asked me so i'm already like irritated because it's like bruh i just told the lady everything like she didn't tell y'all or whatever they like well we want to get the right precise location or whatever and all this stuff so i'm like well i don't really know where i'm at i said i think i'm in between exit seven and nine but i'm not really sure so they was trying to send me the text message too where you can just um i guess i don't know accept it and then it'll tell them your location but for some reason my location wasn't reading i don't know why it just wasn't reading so y'all um what happened next so at this point i'm like first of all let me say this if you don't know me i'm very impatient like i need my stuff right now like i don't i don't have time to wait i don't have time to play i need my stuff right now so i'm like okay um i said ma'am i can see the exit like, i can see it but i don't know where i'm at i can literally just walk there and see it like it was literally like in my view or whatever but it was like five to seven minutes away i would not do this if i was y'all like i will probably never do this again y'all but i got out of the car and I, okay first of all it was daytime it was like good in daytime it wasn't even 12 o'clock yet it was like good in daytime or maybe it was 12 yeah it was like around 12 o'clock so um y'all i had literally walked to the exit i got out of the car y'all i'm praying because you know the cars just be like zoom 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 like they be zooming past so i walked to the exit and i'm on the phone the lady i'm like okay it's exit i'm gonna just say seven whatever we at exit seven y'all so i tell the lady i walk back to the car y'all and i'm just having all these thoughts in my head like what is gonna happen like i feel a little off i feel aki all that type of stuff y'all so my tire is still threaded i'm literally trying to scoot over some more at the little um emergency side i'm trying to like scoot into the grass some more like i'm trying to just scoot this car over because them cars was just zooming past or whatever so y'all first hour um you know making my little lash fans i'm playing music i'm on youtube or whatever because i had a car charge i'm on youtube you know i'm letting the time pass so an hour and like some change pass so i'll call the lady back 
from the Latow and Tire Company. She's like, oh, they're not there yet. I'm going to call the driver and see where he at. This lady say he won't be there until two hours. Ma'am, what are you talking about? I'm like, what you talking about? What you mean two hours? I've been waiting for an hour. An hour is already too long as it is, but I was trying to be patient the first time. Um, so... She's talking about some, well, you can try to call road rangers to see if they'll come there quicker. If y'all ever on the side of the road, always call star 347, like, always call road rangers or whatever. But the problem with road rangers is they can't give you an exact ETA. So you may be waiting for a little minute. So y'all, I hang up and I call road rangers or whatever. So um, then I call back. I'm like nobody can't come quicker than that like whatever she's like no he said two hours i'm like how is it two hours like you just literally told me an hour she's like it's gonna be two hours like i said you can call roll rangers so i'm like like i said they can't give me an eta either and i'm ready to go like y'all it was hot outside and i had this much water left like this much water left so i call the first company back or whatever no, not the first company. I called AAA back and I'm like, can y'all send a different company out? Because the first company, they was like, they're going to be here in two hours. I said, first of all, an hour was already too long. Actually, y'all, it was like an hour and 30 minutes. I said, that was already too long. Now they're saying two more hours, y'all. I am so mad because it's hot outside. And I felt like I was missing money. Like, I felt like I was missing money. So that kind of made me more aggravated. So they was like, I'm sorry about that, ma'am. I said, and then can y'all send my money back? Because I had to pay for um, AAA to come back out to, you know, give me the service or whatever. Because I had used all my things. I would say like 30 minutes past 45. Then the Road Rangers ended up coming, y'all. So I see them pulling up. I get out the car and I'm going in the trunk to get the tire out because I'm being proactive because baby, I've been here too long and I'm ready to go. So I get the tire out and I put it on the side of the car. So I'm sitting in the car, like, you know, in the car with my feet outside the thing, looking at him do the tire. So he's like, ma'am, um, we have one problem. This tire doesn't fit your car. I am like, what? Like, this gotta be a joke. Like, this got to be a joke because I've been waiting for like two hours for you to come and tell me this, baby. I'm ready to go. Like, I thought when he came, I was gonna be on my way, y'all. This <laughs> this man got in his car and bumped out. Like, baby, he was gone. But I understood because he couldn't help me do anything else. Like, he was done helping me or whatever. So, y'all, um, at this point, I am just trying to Google mobile tire companies i'm calling everybody like um please help me or whatever but my boyfriend he was like i'm in the area now or whatever i'll just come in pick you up we'll get your tire and then i'll bring you back and then i'll put it on or whatever so y'all had to wait like another 30 minutes y'all so he finally come and we had to go like 30 more because the area i was in it was literally y'all in the middle of nowhere so we had to it, like it wasn't a lot of like businesses it wasn't like city like so we had to drive like probably like 30 more minutes to the tire place or whatever and we had to take my tire or whatever to get the little rim thing off or whatever i don't know how to say that part but we had to like you know pretty much get the tire and stuff switched out and then we came back and then he had put the tire on y'all and it gets worse so the entire time that i was waiting y'all i had my car running and I didn't mention this in the first part. So remember I told you I was being grown and I knew where I was at and I knew I can get home. Y'all, I had, I literally had two notches of gas left, y'all. But that much gas could get me home. Like I knew I could get to where I was going to be at. Like it was going to get me home or whatever, y'all. So by the time that I was in my car waiting with it on because it was hot outside, I had the AC on. Y'all, my thing was blinking. And when it be blinking, that mean that baby, you can be walking. So y'all, at this point, he gets in his car and he's speeding off and I'm going, <laughs> I'm going like 10 miles per hour, y'all, because baby, we cannot be walking. Like we cannot have another stranded situation, y'all. That's something else, y'all. Do not do that. I don't care what happens, y'all. Do not be riding on E. Like you all know what can happen. Don't please, y'all. For me, don't do that do not do that y'all 
it's to the point where I don't trust my car no more. I would never go anywhere far. If it's not within 10 minutes, Debbie, I'm not coming. I, I will not come in that car. I will not come in that car. I'm finna get me a new car soon, but baby, that car, it be too much happening and I don't have time. I'ma tell y'all the bumper story the other day because I had a bumper story. Very just don't know what happened. But um yes, y'all, I don't trust that car, so I will ne I'm never going to well far in that car. It's time I get a new one, baby. Oh, it's a wrap. Because they play too many games. Yeah, y'all. What else I was gonna say? Always make sure you have AAA, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Let's 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 get to the beginning. Don't be going nowhere if you don't have no money. Like if you don't have no money for no tow, if you don't got no money for it, if something happened to you, do not go nowhere. I don't care. When people be talking about some, you got to have faith. No, baby. Don't go nowhere without no money. Don't go nowhere without no money. I don't care what nobody tell you. Do not be delusional and go somewhere and you don't have no money. Like, don't do that. And um, always make sure you have roadside assistance, AAA, something. Like, you have to have something, y'all. Like, you got to have somebody, some company to help you. Do not just be out here being like, oh, I'm young and I'm lit because, y'all, you will be in a situation and you will be like, dang, what I'm going to do? Always pay attention to exits. Always look at landmarks. Always know where you at. Always have your phone charged, y'all. Like, for real. Like, just that situation humbled me, y'all. It humbled me real bad. Like, real bad. Um, Make sure your tires are good. What else? Make sure your phone charge. I did not expect that to happen, y'all. I didn't. I did not expect that because I be I be moving. Like I move. Like I be moving real quick and I get stuff done. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna do this appointment and be on my way to my next money or whatever. But y'all, I was stranded for like five hours, y'all, and I was so embarrassed because why was that happening to me? But yes, y'all, that happened. Um, don't be like me. Um, make sure you listen to me. Oh, there's something else. Make sure you have a spare tire, bro. Like, don't get no more nails. Don't get no more wigs. Unless you have a spare tire, do not be riding around without no spare tire. Because if you don't have a spare tire and um, you can't get to a, what is it called? A tire shop, you gonna be out of luck because you gotta have a tire to get to where you're going. Like, you can't just be like, oh, um unless somebody can bring you a tire you will be fine but if you can't you're gonna be stranded okay y'all so this is something else that's good to have in your car basically what it is is a portable power source and you can literally give yourself a jump literally with this box you don't need another car you don't need no other body none of that you literally just plug the cables up to your battery and you're good to go now what i like about this is it also have a um tire pump in the back so if your tire go flat, you can just, you know, turn it on like this. And you're good to go. Now, this is how you charge it. You're going to plug this into a wall for 36 hours. And then you're going to let it sit. And when that's done, you're going to put it in your trunk. And you're good, baby. So that's it for this story time. If you're going to do anything, be for real. Like, really be for real about driving your car. Like, do not just be driving the drive, baby. Check everything out. I hope y'all learned something. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.